What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the show. I am living from 510, and here we go with another Call of Duty Ghost gameplay for you guys. Now, this is actually Domination. Domination, Kill Confirmed, and Cranked are actually my favorite game types. Now, I haven't really tried Search and Destroy that much. Um, Deathmatch kind of pisses me off too much because there's always a camper. And with these big maps, there's always a sniper at the other side of the map that keeps getting you in the head with those headshots. So, I'm not a huge fan of that. But, these are cool games because it really forces people to go out and get the flags. Which is cool. So, as you guys will see in this video, I kind of camp. You know, people will say, Livin', you were camping! But, in actuality, I was defending the flag, yo. So, don't don't come in here thinking that I'm a camper. Um, even though I probably should be camping because I'm not that good at this game. As you guys will see, I actually um, start off really well. Because of the camping. And then I go downhill so bad. But anyway. Um, it's whatever. You know. It's not like. It's, it's not it's not like. You know. This is life or death or anything. And I'm getting better. Okay. I, I am more around, more aware of my surroundings. I'm kind of looking around. Waiting until I just run in there. To get uh, to get someone. So I am getting a little bit better. And oh. By, by the way. If, if you guys want to join in and play with me. Just join in and play with me. Don't send me an invite. Because a lot of times. I have my notifications off or whatever, so I don't see your invite. It's better just to join in and say, hey, live and come play with me or whatever. Um, destroy my game. That's that, that's the best way to do it. Or just keep spamming. Just keep spamming me and eventually I will um, get something. <laughs> I'll check it or whatever. All right. But anyway, let's talk about the big hot issue which is going on on YouTube right now, which is the content ID copyright Apocalypse disaster. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Someone call my mama. This is crazy. All right So basically what's going on from what I can comprehend And I'm not I'm not very good at this legal stuff But basically what I can comprehend is that the big wigs are now saying that YouTube commentators like me who do gameplays are stealing I'm using uh, air quotations right now Gain uh, money from the people who make the game. So when I put out a video like the MLB 2K13 review, which gets um, a ton of hits, which does really well, that is stealing the content that 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 the 2K um, business, whatever, has made, and they are now saying, "Hey, you know what, Livin', you can't do that. That's our content. We are going to claim that video." You can still put it up, but we are going to be claiming that video, and you cannot receive money off of that video. That's basically what they're saying that uh, YouTube commentators um, have to do now, is that they just have to say, okay, you know what, fine, this is your content, whatever. So, my opinion on this, um, before I talk about that, let me preface my opinion by saying this. I got partnered about a year ago, and this past year has been the best year of my life um the amount of connections that i made either it's uh, e either and you guys know who you are but i'll name a, a few of you um regular dave dunbar snack bar um franchise city all those guys have really motivated me uh obviously it's Dawkins. um i mean he's he's been my, my my boy since we were like six years old but probably probably four i think we were um each um wearing those poopy diapers at the same time but whatever so each one of those guys has really uh, motivated me and helped me throughout this process of growing my channel and uh, giving me advice to um, kind of be uh, innovative in a way. So, big shout out to those guys and there are a lot of other people, very sour apple, you, you know who you are, who have helped me with this. So this last year has been absolutely amazing. Uh, because of this YouTube channel, I was actually, like I said, I, I was able to go to baseball parks and get a media pass and interview baseball players, which I thought would never happen. This is, this is, this is, this, is, this last year has been absolutely amazing and it has given me so much motivation to think about, oh, okay, so now that we interviewed Carlos Correa, what else can we do to bring the fans closer to him? You know what I mean? And that's really what this project is going to be about come Sunday when they announce it with the other people that are involved. Uh, Sunday, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 p.m. Um, Central Time, 8 p.m. Pacific Time. <laughs> but that's really what has made this year so great. 
is because of the gameplay, because of the connections, because of you guys right leaving comments. Well, even if you guys don't like my opinions, even if I don't agree with your opinions, yeah, I'm talking to you Yankee fans, we can still get around the fact that, hey, you know what, this, it was a good video, and we're all baseball fans, we're all fans of the game at the end of the day, you know? So, this year, like I said, has been amazing, um, and if uh, whatever happens with my videos, whether this gets flagged, and whether I get shut down, and I will, and I, and I can never use this account again. I will make another account, and I will keep going, and I will keep being innovative, and I will continue to push the envelope in terms of what sports entertainment means, in terms of the fans, and how I can get the fans closer to their favorite athletes. Because at the end of the day, I'm a fan, and everyone that I work with closely are motivated fans, and we are dedicated to give you guys the best content available. Um, and really, we've just like. We've get we've just we're just on the first step of this ladder right now. You know what I mean. So it's only up from here. And if we can't do gameplays, whatever. Then I'll just do vlogs or I'll review games and I'll just say so. This is game X. Um, and then you know whatever. And I mean whatever whatever happens, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still going to be on YouTube. And that's that. Bottom line. All right. So let's get into my opinion on this whole thing I don't understand it because there have been so many instances and I, a lot of you guys who watch the videos can attest to this because I feel like a lot of you guys found me because you guys searched um, MLB 2k 13 review <laughs> I've done it myself when I think about buying a game guess what I do I look up reviews or I look up gameplay footages of the games that I think about playing I cannot tell you how many times I looked up um, NHL for NHL 13 gameplay to help me decide if I was going to get NHL 14. How many times did I look up GTA 5 gameplay to decide if I was going to eventually get GTA 5? I didn't. My brother did, so I can still play it. Shout out to my brother. But so many gameplay commentators add so much to the game and so much to the gaming experience to the gaming universe to the to the YouTube universe that to take that away would just be just just be completely you basically you'd be destroying everything that that you have worked so hard to create YouTube cannot survive on vlog after vlog after vlog after vlog that's just that's just the bottom line you can't survive on that. I mean, how many times are we going to freaking see people be like, hey, man, what's up? So today I'm going to the grocery store and then I'm coming home and that's my day. You know, that's awesome. And there are a lot of vloggers out there that do awesome jobs. I'm not dissing vlogs. I'm just saying that YouTube is a place you could literally make whatever you want to. And there are and there are commentators who are just amazing, just awesome commentators. They put the time in. They work 80 hours a week to make the best content available the best content possible and at that times i'm sorry to say this big wigs either it's 2k or whether it's uh in, you know whoever it is ea sports ea sports sounds like the people that would do this but anyway that's not a diss on ea sports sorry do not flag my shit but they make they make awesome videos with your content at the end of the day they're adding their own spin on it even if it's a if it's a less if, if it's a let's play video the gameplay is yours but guess what? The collar commentator who was making it, that is their product. People are not watching the gameplay muted without this guy. How many... Okay, if, if someone were to make a YouTube video with the whole campaign of Call of Duty Ghosts with no commentary in it, do you think people would watch that shit? No one in the world would watch that shit because it would be the most boring shit ever in, in the whole entire universe. That would be stale. But if you add someone who's entertaining, if you add someone who, who makes the campaign fun, then guess what? I'm going to watch that and I'm going to be like, hey, you know what? This guy is pretty cool. He's making this campaign fun. I'm going to go out and I'm going to go buy the game. You shut that down, guess what? Your sales are going to decrease tremendously. Tremendously. How many people watch that official? That's the official review. My official um, MLB 2K13 video is actually the official YouTube review of MLB 2K13. How many people watch that video 
recently, or not recently, probably a month ago or two months ago, when actually we're like, hey, you know what, this game is pretty cool, this guy is pretty cool, let's go out and get the game. What if I didn't say anything in that video? I want you guys to go and watch that video or watch any gameplay video and mute and, and just mute the sound and just watch the, the freaking gameplay. And if you are, after you watch that, if you're like, hey, you know what, I want to still like this video, I want to subscribe to this guy, then hey, you know what, then these big wigs have a point. But that's not going to happen. You're going to be bored out of your mind, and it's really unfair to people who have, like I said, dedicated a ton of hours into making stuff that is innovative, into making stuff that is entertaining, that keeps bringing people back to YouTube, hello, um, to be uh, shunned like this. I don't think I'm, I mean... I may get affected. I don't know. I'm not uh, obviously the biggest channel. I'm not the, the the most popular channel. I'm not sure how I will get affected. Get, get affected. Uh, the company, the network that I'm with, Broadband TV, hasn't sent me anything saying, "Hey, you know what?" So this and that. Um, so I'm not sure how that is going to work. I do know that I have three videos flagged, and they are all Call of Duty videos. So I'm not sure how this is going how this is going to work, but. Um, yeah, to say the least, it sucks, man. It sucks. Uh, one of my best friends uh, in, in the world, Dawkins, just started making gameplay videos, and and he is uh, he's he's blowing up. He's he's doing he's he's putting in the work. This guy this guy is like one of the hardest workers that I that I know. Um, he has three kids, but guess what? He still puts out a video every single day, and the video is not just shit. It's great. It's awesome content. And for all that work to just go out the window because of some stupid shit like this, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna really piss me off. So I hope that nothing happens and all gets resolved. Lim five and I'm out.